Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. What can I say about John Cena? Well, here's a couple of things the fans say about him. Oh my God, John Cena buried another great wrestler. John Cena, he's Super Cena, Super Cena. Oh, I hate his guts, oh, he's stupid, boring. He buried Neville, he buried Sami Zayn, he buries this, buries that. The only reason why John Cena's on top is because he's sucking up to Vince McMahon. Okay, to all you fans out there who say things about that, shut up. <laughs> Seriously, my god. Okay, the reason why I mention this is because this Sunday is SummerSlam. And also, John Cena will be facing Seth Rollins for the United States and also World Heavyweight Championship belt. Everybody's worried for some odd reason. Everybody's worried about John Cena being a 16-time world champion. And if he loses and becomes a 17-time world champion, people are gonna complain and say, no, he broke Ric Flair's record, no! Okay, here's the thing. Some things are meant to be broken. Like for the Undertaker streak. I didn't want to see it end, but I knew deep down the streak would end one day. All things have to come to an end sometime. And also, here's the thing. Even if John Cena does break Ric Flair's record, so what? Who cares? The world's not gonna end. The whole wrestling universe is not gonna end. <laughs> and here's the thing, if John Cena does break Ric Flair's record, I gotta say this, he's the right guy to pick. I'm not gonna lie. John Cena, <sighs> why are you people so worried? Why are you, why are you people are gonna be so mad if John Cena does break the record? So what? Uh, it, it, also, another reason why you guys gotta keep complaining about John Cena on the internet. Seriously, the guy's a great athlete. The guy's a great wrestler. And you're probably thinking, ah, he's a five move, something, five moves of doom, whatever. I don't remember. Uh, but so what? Who cares? Look at Daniel Bryan, flying headbutt, the yes lock, the yes chant. I think that guy's boring. I think Daniel Bryan's boring. And one time I mentioned that on the on the Facebook page and saying I should keep my hatred for Daniel Bryan uh, privately or something like that and I was thinking you guys never do you guys shout out how much you guys would like Dan John Cena and for me I don't like Daniel Bryan and also too I'm not saying I'm on the John Cena bandwagon I am a fan but not a super fan um, but here's the thing I'm not worried about John Cena breaking the record. I expected it. I know he will. And it's not a big deal. So what? If John Cena's going to break the record, let him. Do I think he's the right guy? Yeah. I, I don't mind seeing Cena being the guy to break the Ric Flair record. And also, here's the thing. Ric Flair has so many records out there anyway about uh, world titles he's won. I don't remember what the number was I think it was 23 I don't remember but uh, but so what doesn't matter if John Cena breaks it good for him good for him I'm happy for Cena and also like I said I'm a fan of John Cena I'm not a super fan I'm more of a Undertaker Brock Lesnar Dean Ambrose super fan I like those guys more and I don't like Daniel Bryan I got respect for him, but I'm not a fan of him. I get bored of the whole yes chant. I was mad that he won the IC belt because one, all you people wanted it. I did not. And he won it. And now look where he's at. He's hurt again. You know what that means? 
Daniel Bryan can't be trusted with the belt anymore. I think he should not wrestle at WrestleMania anymore. You know why? Because if you think about it, look, WrestleMania 30, he won the world title. A few months later, he was injured. WrestleMania 31, won the title. A few weeks or a few, no, a few weeks later, he was hurt. So, I think WrestleMania is Daniel Bryan's kryptonite. I don't think Daniel Bryan should ever wrestle at WrestleMania ever again. And also, too, I just don't want to see Daniel Bryan. I'm bored of the guy. I get tired of seeing him. I'm not a fan of him. But that's just me. And also, one, I love wrestling to death. I'm not worried about John Cena breaking Ric Flair's record. I expect it. And I'm not worried about it. You guys shouldn't be either. If you guys are, <laughs> why? <laughs> Seriously, why? Why are you worried about it? Same with Undertaker's WrestleMania streak, which I didn't want to see end, but I knew one day would. So, yeah, like I said, some things need to come to an end. But there's one thing I want to see come to an end one day. And that is Honky Tonk Man's Intercontinental Championship reign. Honky Tonk Man held the Intercontinental title belt for two years. And I won't, or was it a year? I gotta look up the history again. I, I don't remember. Sorry. But yeah, I want to see someone break Honky Tonk Man's record. I want to see somebody break his record of holding the Intercontinental Champion for the longest time. But what's your guys' thoughts? I want to hear your thoughts about John Cena becoming the 16-time World Champion. Do you guys like it or do you hate it? Leave a comment down below. I want to hear from you guys. Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment, subscribe to OWFN19, uh, like the OWFN19 Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Vivo. <laughs> and also, Thursday or Friday, I don't remember, uh, Mr. Bones is going to be back here at my place to do our prediction video for SummerSlam this Sunday, who we think is going to win and all that kind of stuff. And also, don't forget, Sunday is the three-year anniversary of OWL Fan 19 and also don't forget to buy the t-shirt. All right, everybody. See you guys next time.